is what he said. And look beyond those thoughts. See that I need his love. See that I need his spirit. See that I need his God. See that I need a way out of here. Here now, Paul says, I, I just want to know Jesus Christ in you and him crucified. If you got Jesus in you, you got to have some crucifixion in you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Why, Reverend, do I have to be crucified? Because the Bible declares, and the Bible says, many affliction are the righteous. Yes. But God is able to deliver from the Lord. <laughs> When God says the principle of the fact that, 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 that if you want to be this child, you got to suffer when you're doing it. Right. That means that I have to pay a price. <laughs> not, not that I got to pay it all because if you, if you know the power of the cross, then you know that out there on God, God can heal. Jesus paid it all. All to him. A great some sin, but he watches fire. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Let him so. Yeah. Here, Paul says, And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. In other words, I went to the point where I didn't have enough to do. Lord, have mercy. You can't talk about you didn't have nowhere to live because I've been there. I didn't have nowhere to live. I've been shipwrecked and I, I've been beaten by serpents and I, I've been sown a few times and I've been flogged. I've been, I've been swallowed a few times and I've been in Paris time. But, but in all of them times, I was there with you. God, God never leaves us. He's always with us. In our weakness, He said, we're strong. He said in fear, we should have none because perfect love, when we got the love of Jesus, perfect love casts out all fear. All fear. Says in much swimming, if we can know that God is love, you don't have no fear. When you know that God is the strength, the joy of the Lord is the strength, you should not be weak. So the Bible said you ought to fear and tremble God. You ought to tremble at the presence of God. You, when the presence of God comes in the building, you should not just stand there, sit there, all lackadaisical. Yeah. But you ought to have some sort of fear yeah. that God is in the building. The Bible declares that all earth be silent. Yes. <laughs> Here now, Paul declares that I was with you. And, and this sounds like Jesus to me because Jesus said, No, I'm with you. Not some way, not halfway, but always. Yes, sir. Even until the end of yes, the world. Yes, sir. He said, My speech was and preaching was not enticing words of man's wisdom, but the demonstration of the spirit and the power. Yes. I don't care how good you talk. I don't care how good you look. I don't care how good you can do something. But if you don't have the right spirit, if you don't have the Holy Ghost power, it is of no. The Bible declares that no, no matter how good you are in whatever you do, if you have not love, it promises you not. Come on, Glory. Love, love is the element. It is the compound junction that locks everything together. Yes. And when you have love, you will know the power of God. You will know the essence of God's manifestation in your life. <laughs> Come on. Here now, we know here that out of the gospel, God sent us soon for that reason. That's right. Everything in between was just to let the world know who was who he was. Yes. But the most miraculous, it's only three most miraculous things that happened in Jesus' time span Come on that made a difference in our life. Come on. It's when he was born, yes. when he died, yes. and when he rose. Right. He showed you the Father. Yeah. He showed you the Son on the cross. Yes. But so to the Holy Spirit when he rose. Yeah. He said, Behold, I go away, but I won't leave 